Science! Welcome back to the science segment. Um, we took a couple weeks off here for the holiday season, but I'm back, and this is going to be better than ever because each week I'm going to dive into some of the latest and greatest in science news and space news. Also going to be making some of our multi-part scientific series like we started doing at the end of last season. And brand new this year, we're going to start looking back at some of the most incredible scientific discoveries throughout history. And we're going to kick off this year with one of those, which I'm tentatively calling Scientific Hindsight 2020. Um, and we're going to look at an incredible archaeological find of two skeletons locked in a loving embrace called the Lovers of Valdaro. This discovery in 2007 in the village of Valdaro made world news and sparked the imagination of archaeologists and also hopeless romantics. The burial site is Neolithic in origin, and a double burial from that time period is very rare. The position of these skeletons in an embrace is even more unique, even though there are a few other famous examples of double burials in history. One is the embracing skeletons of El Potripa, there is the skeleton of a man appearing to be holding the skeleton of a woman from behind in a Neolithic burial site, one of the largest in Europe, in the Allotripa cave in Greece. This couple dates back 5,800 years ago, and the bones date roughly to individuals that would have been 20 to 25 years old, close to the maximum lifespan of individuals living back in those harsh and unforgiving times. Another example is the lovers of Cluj-Napoca, the skeletons of a man and a woman buried next to each other holding hands were unearthed in 2013 in the cemetery of a former Dominican convent. The man appears to have died from complications of a broken hip, and the woman's cause of death is unclear, leading archaeologists to compare the couple to Romeo and Juliet, stating the woman might have died of a broken heart and was then able to be buried alongside her partner. Many other double burial sites exist, but they usually contain a mother and a child, which would have been common at the time. The embracing skeletons of the lovers of Valdaro, though, offer up many more mysteries that have yet to be answered. The burial site which they were found is referred to as a bizome. Its literal Latin translation means of having two bodies. In February of 2007, a team of researchers led by archaeologist Elena Maria Minotti uncovered the couple and were excited and astonished by the find. We have never found a man and a woman embraced before, and this is a unique find, said Minotti. We have found plenty of women embracing children, but never a couple, much less a couple hugging, and they really are hugging. Double burials are extremely rare from the Neolithic period, some five to 6,000 years ago. Also, this burial site was found among 30 other sites, but all of those were single occupancy. There were remains of prosperous villages found around the area too, including flint tools, pottery, and animal horns. The remains were located when a construction site was created to work on a factory building on the outskirts of the city of Mantua, near the northern region of Lombardy, Italy. The Neolithic Age started around 12,000 years ago, around the time early human tribes adopted the first developments of farming. Once we mastered farming with stone and wood tools, humanity started learning metallurgy, and thus the Bronze Age was born some 6,000 years ago. This burial falls in line with what we know of late Neolithic and early Bronze Age burial sites. The bodies are in a crouching position, and the gravesite is accompanied by customary grave goods. But that is where the normalcy ends and the mysteries begin. If it is rare to find a grave with two people, and even rarer to find them in this position, then the big question is why were they buried together at all? The two skeletons, the man on the left and the woman on the right, were about five feet, two inches tall, and no more than 20 years old. It would have been very unique for two young people to die at the same time and be buried this way, leading many to speculate the Romeo and Juliet theory of two star-crossed lovers who might have died in each other's arms. To add credence to the theory, the city of Mantua, where the burial site is near, is the same city where Romeo is sent after he kills Tybalt Capulet in a sword fight in Shakespeare's iconic play. Romeo, while in Mantua, dreams he dies and is revived by Juliet's kiss, which freaks him out and he leaves his exile to return to Verona, where he is informed Juliet is now dead and, well, you know the rest of the story. Giuseppe Verdi's opera Rigoletto 
another story of star-crossed love, was set in Mantua as well. 5,000 years ago, the area around Mantua was a vast, wet marshland, and it was crisscrossed by rivers. And these factors actually helped preserve the skeletons in their near-perfect state. The tribes of the area thrived through hunting and fishing and traveled along the waterways in boats, and Neolithic Valdaro would have been a very developed community, with easy access to important trade routes and close ties to neighboring populations. What else is interesting about the site is what was found among the bodies. The male skeleton on the left had a flint arrowhead near his neck, and the female had a long flint blade along her thigh, plus two flint knives under her pelvis upon discovery. It was initially thought the weapons themselves could have been the cause of death, but an examination found no evidence of violent death. So these items were most likely grave goods, buried with the bodies after they died. Their discovery in an Acropolis also means they didn't die while hugging, to keep warm maybe during a freezing night, but were positioned that way after death. Establishing the cause of death could prove almost impossible unless they were killed by a disease, a knife, or something else that might have left marks on the bones. The two bodies were most likely buried at the same time and wrapped separately in burial canvas, an indication of a possible sudden and tragic death. Luca Bandioli, an anthropologist at Rome's National Prehistoric and Ethnographic Museum, said, It's rare for two young people to die at the same time, and that makes us want to know why and who they were, but it will be very difficult to find out. DNA testing could determine whether the two were related, but that still leaves other hypotheses, and the Romeo and Juliet possibility is just one of many. The two skeletons were found close to Valentine's Day on February 11th, 2007, near the setting of one of the greatest love stories ever told, and this still excites the imagination of romantics across the globe. Minotti wanted to make sure the love was preserved and ensured that the bones were not carted away separately for study. The excavation team dug the earth around the couple, and the block of earth in which they rested was lifted out of the ground with large belts placed in a wooden box and sent to the archaeological laboratory at the Musee Civisi in Como. If you have a soft spot for romance and a love of archaeology, you can book a getaway in an Italian villa in the town of Lombardy and stop by and pay the lovers a visit. What more may we learn about this couple and the others buried around them and the people who lived in the area over 5,000 years ago? With DNA testing and carbon dating, we might get those answers, but those processes are long and meticulous. But one day might yield the results of this strange and beautiful burial site, a lover's embrace through death.